everyone, today I have 20, yes, 20 essentials for every man or young man's closet. They're all from Amazon, they're all extremely budget friendly, and I will have pictures of all of them over here because all of the men in my life, which include my husband and my two sons, one who is 22, about to go into law school next month, and the other one is 19, going into his sophomore year of college, nobody wants to get on camera. I'm gonna insert pictures over here of all of the items, and I will include as much descriptive information as I can. If you have any questions at all about any of the things I'm about to show you, please do not hesitate to ask me down in the comments below. I read all the comments and I answer every question that is thrown my way. I did bring up the point of my older son is going into law school because throughout college and high school, he wore a lot of graphic tees, tees that had to do with either high school sports, his high school, then into college, his fraternity, university type, you know, graphic tees, and he wanted to transition into something that looked a little more polished, a little more professional, but still, you know, comfortable to wear to class. Many of these items are appropriate for a business casual environment, not the shorts, but just about everything else. So I've broken it down into categories and let's get started. Let's start with tops and in the tops category, let's start with tees. So the vast majority of what I'm about to recommend to you is from the brand Good Threads. It is an in-house brand from Amazon. They make men's and women's. They might actually make kids' clothes as well. I've never actually looked, to be fair. I have quite a few pieces from Good Threads for myself, but as far as for a man's point of view, a, an excellent brand. The quality is consistent throughout. The sizing is consistent throughout, which I think is key because I can't speak for every man in the planet, but the three that I am familiar with don't love shopping, so once they know what size they are, they love that they can just get on, hit click, send, and they don't have to worry about it. So the first tee I wanna recommend is the Good Thread Slub Crew Neck Pocket Tee. I should also add, we have purchased multiple numbers of these products, like five of these t-shirts in four different colors and two different sizes for each kid. So um, this one is great because that slub fabric makes it feel like a pre-washed, vintage-y feel. It's a lot more soft. It has a little bit of texture to it. It's still very polished looking, but it's very casual. It's extremely soft. It also comes in a ridiculous amount of options, 29 colors, stripes, or solids. So, and the sizing for almost all of the Good Threads tees run quite generously. They have it running from extra small to triple XL, and they have tall options in the medium and up sizes as well. The next one is called the Good Threads, the perfect tee shirt. Again, it's a crew neck. It has the same size range, 16 color options. It's a little more, so it doesn't have the slub fabric. It's just straight up cotton, a little bit of a change from the first one. I find with men's clothes, like how much variety can you have between a tee, a collared shirt, khaki pants, or jeans? So I see a lot of variation in color options and in fabrics. So this is a more, I wanna say smooth, um, not vintagey looking fabric. The next popular one in my house is actually not from Good Threads. It's from Hanes, and these are the softest t-shirts. They come in a two-pack. Most of the options, it's two of the same color. There's a couple options where maybe there's a black tee and a white tee in there. The price is unbelievable. The size ranges from small to, I think it's triple XL. It'll be down in the little card there and 13 color options. Some of those options, like I said, include like two different colors in the pack of two. Um, this is definitely something we have bought on repeat. They all, the tops I just mentioned, in fact, everything I'm about to mention is machine washable, and these we throw right into the dryer, and all of them run true to size. I'll put sizing information as far as the current height and weight of my oldest son, Jake, put a picture of him, and, and then I'll share the size that he wears, so that might help you figure out what size to pick out for yourself or from whoever you are shopping for. Now let's move into collared shirts. This is where we go a little bit crazy. Just a little bit of background so you understand why we have so many collared shirts. Both of my sons went, one still goes, to a university that they dress up for a lot of occasions. It's, it's just what they do. They're kind of known for that there. So collared shirts are a standard. That being said, my husband has um, pretty much every version of these shirts as well that I'm about to describe to you. You can wear these to a variety of occasions. Just He pairs them with shorts to run around, he wears them with pants to go out to dinner. So a really, these are all very versatile pieces. So the first one I wanna share with you is a long sleeve plaid shirt. I love the plaid option color 
options on this one. There are actually 26 different plaids you can choose from. The sizing again is extra small through triple XL. The price point is great. It's a beautiful soft cotton but it irons up very nicely and crisp if that's what you're looking for. And I just think, I think some of the color options are really unique and really pretty, like the one that I'm showing you. This next one is a very casual option for a collared shirt. It is a suede jersey polo. So it's really soft. It's very similar, I would say, in texture to that slub tee that I first mentioned. There are 22 color options, both striped and solid. So you will find a color for anything you are looking for. There are tall options as well. Good threads, like I said, pretty standard in their sizing. Most of their items, especially in shirts, are gonna run extra small through triple XL, and then they'll have the tall options on medium, large, extra large, so forth. And I don't know why some have more color options than others, but I'm really happy about the consistency across the brand. Now, a lot of their collared shirts have the option of a slim fit or a standard fit. And the best way to describe it is my boys tend to prefer the slim fit. It's a little more tailored look. My husband prefers the more standard fit. He's broader across the shoulders. He wants a little bit more room. It's all personal preference. I don't think one is better than the other. So the first one I'm gonna recommend is their slim fit short sleeve gingham plaid poplin shirt. That was a lot there. So it's a poplin material, it's cotton poplin. So it's a little more crisp and it pops just a little bit more, has the usual sizing, comes in eight different colors, and it's just a beautiful shirt, especially right now in the hot weather. Um, there's just something about poplin I think I really like. Like for instance, I love a poplin sheet. It's just, it feels crisp and cool when you get into bed at night. Kind of the same feeling when you put on a poplin shirt. Another one, these are all separate line items on Amazon, so it's not like you go to Good Threads and look for shirts and pick slim fit or standard and then, no, they're each, different. So this next one is also slim fit, also poplin, but it is their printed uh, collared shirt and these have different prints. You can go very conservative or there's some really loud fun prints as well. There's one with popsicles all over it, palm trees, parrot. I mean there's all kinds of stuff. Or you can have a much more subdued subtle print. It's up to you. Lots of different choices in colors. There are in fact 29 prints. Yes. So there's something for everyone on that one. Here's one that I got from Michael for Father's Day. This is in the standard sizing, short sleeve, large scale plaid shirt. So it is plaid, but the squares or whatever, you, you know, the print is much bigger in scale than a traditional plaid. I think it's really, I don't wanna say it's cute, but I really, really like this option. And there are 11 different colored plaids to choose from. I'm a sucker for sear sucker. So this again is another slim fit colored shirt. It is in their sear sucker option. And I know, I think, when I think of seersucker, I think of white or blue with little white stripes. Not necessarily, they do have solid options. They have a muted red. I think it's a really, it's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful way of changing it up a little bit. I love the texture. They steam up very nicely. Um, but I find that if you just throw them in the washing machine and take, put them straight into the dryer and take them out of the dryer right away, most of these shirts need minimal ironing or steaming to get the wrinkles out. And then the last colored shirt that I want to talk to you about, again from Good Threads, is a chambray option. And again, when I think of chambray, I think of blue denim, but there are a few other colors to look at there. The pricing is fabulous. I think everybody needs a chambray shirt, whether you're a man or a woman, so this is a great option to have in your closet. And then this last top that I want to talk about is not quite appropriate for this time of year, but I want to recommend it now because I think you want to get your hands on it before everybody else is buying it and they go out of stock because these items do go in and out of stock pretty quickly. The good news is because it's an Amazon house brand, they restock them pretty quickly as well. And this is the soft shawl sweater. It's 100% cotton. I love a shawl sweater on a man. I just think there's something so masculine and sexy, which is why I'm describing it on my husband. Anyway, I love when Michael wears, I wish he would wear this sweater every day when it's cold. And there are 15 colors to choose from. I'm partial to the dark navy or dark green, but there's a color for everyone. And I love this sweater. And again, the sizing runs very much true to size. All right, let's move into the bottoms. And we're gonna start with jeans. Good threads for the win again. There are two pairs of jeans that I wanna mention. The first is their Comfort Stretch Slim Fit. So these are super soft, they're already broken in. They do have several sizing options. So they have skinny fit, they have slim fit, they have straight fit, and they have athletics. So skinny fit, 
it's very trendy, but maybe not appropriate for all circumstances. So I like slim fit is a nice compromise. But again, it just depends on personal preference where you're planning on wearing these, how your body type is, and so forth. So slim fit is the one of choice, at least for Jake and Michael. The waist size options in their jeans are 28 to 42, and the inseam options are 28 to 36, so a huge size range. There are nine different washes. Some are distressed, some are not. They range from white to off-white to light wash, medium, all the way up to dark and black. So again, between the sizing, the inseam, the wash, there's something for everybody in this one. This particular pair of jeans is made from stretch, what's the word, elastane? So all I know is they're super soft, they don't need to be broken in, you wear them straight out of the package and they feel like you've had them forever. Now the other pair that we recommend, and I say we because I'm not the one wearing it, but everybody else in my family seems to be, are the slim fit selvage jeans. So these are not broken in. They will break in over time and become looser. These are a little more, dare I say, formal looking. They're not as many wash options. None of them I have distressing. I think there's four washes and they're all very like medium to dark wash. So if you want a dress up pair of jeans, so to speak, these would be the ones that I would recommend. And then we get to what we always call in my family khaki pants, even if they're not khaki. Does anybody else do that? Just put on a pair of khaki pants what should I wear to dinner? Khaki pants and a collared shirt, but they're not necessarily khaki. Anyway, I guess the correct term is chino pants, and there's two that I wanna recommend again from Good Thread. The first one is very similar to the first pair of jeans. They are the Slim Fit Washed Cotton Stretch Chinos. They come in 21 colors. So they do have a khaki color, and they do have a stone color, which is even a little bit lighter, but they have everything else, like every color. You, I didn't even know chinos came in some of these colors. So there's something for everyone. The sizing is a little bit different than the jeans and that the inseam goes all the way to a 38 instead of a 36, but the waist sizes are the same. These are pre-washed, so they're very soft right from the get-go. And these are what I think of as a traditional chino pant. Now the other pair of chinos, they call the Slim Fit 5 Pocket Chino. And these are tailored to look like a pair of jeans in chino material. So these are a little looser fit, even in the slim fit version, they're a little more, um, less structured, I'd say, a little more casual than the first pair that I mentioned. They're more relaxed, that's the term I'm looking for. They fit like a pair of jeans. There are 12 color options. If you're looking for the one most like stone, they call it moonlight, I don't know why. And the inseam options are a little bit different. They are sized like jeans. Um, so 28 to 42 in the waist and 28 to 36 in the inseam. And then we get to shorts. Not a lot of variety in the shorts department, at least not at my house. Pretty much everybody wears chinos or khaki shorts as we call them here. And there's two options. The first, the most popular in this group is again from Good Threads. It's their five inch inseam flat seam chino short. Basic traditional chino, except the inseam's a little shorter. That's what's more on trend these days. The five inch is the most popular. They come in sizes 28 to 42, and there are 18 color options with this one. They are made out of a cotton stretch twill, so they're super soft, and I've been told they're very comfortable. I have never worn any, so I do not know. The other pair of shorts that Michael and Jake prefer a little bit more because they're a little more conservative, they're from Amazon Essentials, and they are the slim fit nine inch inseam. So they're still above the knee, but they're not quite as short as the five inch. They also are $15 and they come in 17 color options. They also come in waist sizes 28 through 42. So pretty big range as well. The one pair of workout shorts or running shorts that I have to recommend to you, again, are owned by several members of my family. I don't have the brand, but they come in sizes extra small through double XL and they come in six colors. They're just basic. They have zippered pockets, which they like because if they're going running, they can put their phone, their keys, whatever, zip that pocket up. They don't have to worry about losing anything. And then the last thing I want to recommend, again, maybe not for this time of year, but the, um, I think it's Amazon Essentials. I'll put it in the description box. It's a men's fleece jogger and it comes in sizes extra small through triple XL. There are tall options in this jogger, which is really nice. These were very popular during the early days of quarantine at my house when all of us were in joggers all the time. Actually, right now I am wearing a pair of linen joggers. Nothing has really changed. I can't really speak about how these fit or how it feels to wear them, obviously, but as a mom of two college-aged boys who live away from home, I can tell you that I appreciate how consistent the sizing is and how easy it is for me to just 
you know, click buy and have it sent to where they live and it gets there in a couple of days and they are good to go. It's nice to know they have a last minute thing and they don't have whatever it is that they need. The Amazon brand, at least for men's clothes, is very dependable and is held up incredibly well. I mean, some of these items we have bought you know, added to year after year after year, they're still in their closets. If you have any questions about any of this, or if you have any insight on how any of this wore for you or the man in your life, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see more Amazon hauls that aren't specific to women's clothing. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that you took time out of your day to hang out with me here, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!